Hello friends, I am Nikita. I am a National Inspector and a chess trainer. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Challengers Chess Club. In my last lecture, we discussed about chess terminologies. In today's class, we will discuss rest of the chess terminology. So take a look. What are the topics we are going to cover? So these are the topics. In my last lecture, we uh, covered pain, night fog, double attack, skewer attack, back rank, discovered attack, discovered check. And in today's class, we will cover the rest of the topics. So the first topic is destroying the defender. It is a tactic that involves eliminating the defensive piece that stands in the way of achieving a much greater goal. We will understand this with the help of example. Uh, in this position, black's key defender is this knight on e5, which is guarding the f7 pawn. Hence, it will become a good idea to take this knight. So, take a look. What will happen? The queen will take this knight on e5. Now the f7 protection is vanished. Then d cross e5 which is natural. Then e cross f7 check. Black will save his king by kf8 and then finally bx6 checkmate. So this was the example of destroying the defender. Our next topic is decoying. What is decoying? Decoying means to force opponent's piece to move from its current square to a specific square of your choice. In this position, black is exerting tremendous pressure on white with its queen, rook and knight. It seems that mate is not far away by this rc1, but the only piece which is preventing the mate is white queen on a3. So by decoying, black can achieve its goal. Let's see how. By qa5, the black will move qa5 and so the white queen can take this, come to this square on a5 and we can achieve our goal by rc1. So this was the example of decoying. Our next example is deflection. What is deflection? Actually it is inverse of decoy. Deflection means forcing the opponent piece to leave the square, file or rank. It occupies in order to perform checkmate or win a piece. So what is the difference between this deflection and decoy? Deflection means a piece go away from a square and decoy means it is lured towards a square. In this example you can see this rook is the defender because white can easily checkmate with his bishop on c4 when it moved to f7 square but the problem is this black rook on x7 so let's see how we will deflect this rook 
r cross f5 then g cross f5 q cross h5 then obviously r cross h5 then now the path is clear we have to checkmate so this was the example of deflection next topic is overloaded piece overloaded me means overworking piece if it has more than one responsibility the piece which has the responsibility of defending too many pieces or vital squares at once it is called overloaded piece actually it can't defend everything it wants to something must go the attacking side can take advantage of this overload by means of sacrifice so in this position the queen is protecting the rook on d4 and uh, this rook on c8 so let's see what happened when check is given by r8 king will save itself kg7 and then r cross c8 then if queen takes this rook and so white has an extra rook so this was the disadvantage of being an overload piece our next topic is line opening what is the meaning of this line opening line opening means increasing the range of our own pieces by opening up new paths of attack in this position you can see checkmate is possible by this rook if this rook comes to h8 so checkmate becomes easy so we have to open this line so let's see how the bishop comes to c5 so what will black do it will capture with its bishop the white will capture black's bishop on c5 and then rook h8 so checkmate is not far away this was the example of line opening our next example is line closing what is the meaning of line closing line closing is opposite of line opening which means closing out the effective range of enemy piece in this position you can see that this bishop is attacked by two pieces the queen on f5 and rook on f1 and at the same time it is guarded by two pieces the rook on d8 and the king on g8 so what the white will do <coughs> to open its line to closing its line to closing the opponent's line it will give check by bishop f7 the king the black king will protect itself by moving to h8 square and then closing the line bishop e8 now the link between the 
rook and the black bishop black bishop and black rook communication is vanished so what next black will give check by bishop cross c5 check then the white queen we capture this bishop the black rook on d8 will capture the bishop on e8 then it's very simple the queen comes to f8 and what will happen the checkmate is easy so now the black king has no escape so this in this way we can closing the line of opponent i hope you understand this for today's lecture if you like this please like share and subscribe thank you